Let's logo again. This time I found this teddy jacket. This is a size 36. It doesn't look good with a black t-shirt. And this is the men's version of the same tee. It's a little longer and thinner and cheaper. Horizon Plaza again. I just bought a t-shirt at Saint Laurent and uh, we are now going to check out Link Robert. It's just the same places that we go but then they've already got new stock so I think like new as in like yeah new stock but they're like off-season stuff. <laughs> are too big. Also too big. What do you think of these leather leggings? just downstairs at the Taiwanese bookstore and I bought three books for my nephew. This is the first one. It's about trams. And this one is about a polar bear finding his home. And this is the third one. 
and now we are going to have unagi dong. Oh, thank you. Victoria Park, the hubby is going to jog and I'm going swimming! parents place that's why I have a different background I'll be putting out some Vancouver vlogs but this time I don't plan on putting out a lot of vlogs I'll be staying here for about a month I think I'll be putting out like maybe five or six vlogs at most because I've vlogged in Vancouver for so many times every time I come back I go to the same places and I meet the same people so it's not gonna be very interesting for you to see the same things having said that I know that some of you would still want to see some vlogs therefore I'm going to follow the Hong Kong format and I'm gonna to put together footage from here and there and put together multiple day vlogs so that's going to be the coming video and for this video I'm going to end this Hong Kong vlog by giving you an MS cleaning service update for my blue Birkin I'm going to put the video of me talking about the bag uh, to show you the wear and tear before I brought it to MS and also one other update, uh, MS bar update vlog on the end stage so you can have a look at them if this is the first time you see this video. So basically I bought a vintage blue Birkin from a Japanese eBay seller. It wasn't in very good shape when I received it. I shouldn't have kept the bag. I think it was like um, an impulsive decision that I regret. After using it for maybe 20, 30 times, I felt like the condition had gone worse but it wasn't in very good shape to start with. It's a wrong decision, I would say, um, thinking back. Uh, I've waited for about two months now to receive the quotation from Paris because it is a discontinued leather. It's the Krujevel leather and it's a vintage bag. A Hong Kong workshop decided to send the bag to Paris to let the Paris workshop decide what's needed to be done. So now the bag is still in the Paris workshop and it's just sitting there waiting for my decision. They inspected the bag and listed a few things that they recommend. I don't get to tell them what I want. I can just wait for them to tell me after inspecting the bag what can be done and what should be done or what they recommend. I can just choose from the list. There are six items on the list. The first one is general cleaning. So for general cleaning, it's basically reglazing the bag, uh, the different parts of the bag, uh, retouching the corners and cleaning the leather here and there, stuff like that. So this is my black Birkin. This is in Togo leather. So the one in Paris now is in Crujavel leather. So it's it looks different, but just to show you, it's easier for me to show you when I have a Birkin like point the different parts. The general cleaning service is $2,220. So this is Hong Kong dollars, and I will put on the screen the conversion to US dollars. I think it's pretty reasonable for a big bag like this. Uh, the cleaning is $2,220, I think is reasonable for MS. So the rest of the items, like there are five more items after general cleaning, and they are all replacements. 
that's why it's so expensive. I was shocked to see the amount of money I have to pay for the whole thing. So I'll talk about that later, very soon. So the second item is replace the handles. So the handles, because it's a broken, there are two. The price is 9,020 Hong Kong dollars. The glazing was missing and the leather is actually like peeling off. That's the most expensive item on the list. The next item is replacement of the two cassettes. So the cassette is this part on the side which folds. So this piece of leather and this piece. That's gonna cost 7,631 Hong Kong dollars. And for my blue birkin, if you've watched my wear and tear video, you will notice like rips and it's like falling apart. This part like completely missing stitching here and there. And it's like the condition is really, really bad. So I totally agree that these two parts need to be replaced. And I'm glad that they suggest that. The fourth item is replacement of swivel clasp. So this is the turn lock part. This is actually called the swivel clasp and they're gonna replace it. The biggest problem with these parts, the hardware part is the, the coating, the plating. And it's gold hardware. The original owner of the bag didn't peel off the protective plastic until many years later. And so when they finally peel that off, it also peel off some of the plating. They would not do the plating again or anything like that. They would just replace the whole thing. Nothing wrong with the turn lock. Uh, it was still very tight and everything worked well. It's just the color on the, it's just the plating. Really dull and strange and just, just very, very wrong. Replacement of swivel clasp costs $3,520. Replacement of side strap plates. So side strap plates, these two, one and two here. And same problem. This is the cheapest item on the list, $880. Pretty good. So the colors will match. And then I'm sure you can guess the last item are the brackets. I was preparing for my wear and tear video um, and looking up the names of different parts. They called this the bridge, but then here officially, these are called brackets. So replacement of brackets, two of them, $1,340. So the most expensive part is this one, the swivel clasp, which many people call the turn lock. And then the second most expensive are these brackets. And then the cheapest hardware to replace is the plates. I think it also has to do with the amount of work they have to put into like the replacement works, not just the cost of the plate, is because it involves the, the front piece of leather. Like, I mean, when replacing the brackets and the swivel clasp, it involves taking apart the, the front piece of leather, which is not going to be replaced. They have to be extra careful. I was asking them about the side straps because they were in pretty bad condition. Um, but then later on, they told me that because it involves this back piece, they say that the craftsperson is saying that it's going to stress out the leather even more. And um, that's why they do not recommend replacing these side straps. And they promised that they would reglaze it and maybe restitch it. I don't know, we'll find out when we get the bag Back. They noticed the missing stitching and they noticed the crack, but they just didn't want to stress the, the back piece of leather out because they were saying that every time you have to take something out of the leather, it's like there's going to be holes, right? But when you stitch it back, you can't stitch it back onto the same holes. So it's going to create problems. So now the total comes to 24600 11 Hong Kong dollars. It's a huge amount of money. It's like the price of a nice MS long wallet, but it's a Birkin and 
the representative of the team told me that it's rare that they suggest replacement and very often people bring their bags to the MS cleaning service asking for replacement and very often the workshop people would not recommend replacement because most of the time they feel like the bag is good as is, it serves its function, they won't suggest any replacement but this time it's rare that they suggest five replacement items because they think that there is an absolute need to replace all these parts in order for me to continue to use the bag without it falling apart. He was just basically saying that you know a lot of people uh, won't ask for replacement and they didn't offer replacement service and it's actually pretty good like you, you, you know if I were you I would seize the opportunity to get the replacement done because they don't do this often. And I was like, whoa, you know, I feel so special, but then the price is also a bit crazy. Anyway, so my final decision is I am gonna go ahead with all the six items. So I'll be paying $24,611 for the cleaning service. It's crazy. I know some of you think that I'm even more stupid after spending a whole lot of money buying a vintage bag in such bad condition. I'm now spending more money on the same bag. But I'm thinking if I take the bag back, they're not gonna charge me for shipping or anything like that. They're not gonna charge me for the inspection. And at the same time, they're not gonna touch the bag anymore. They're just gonna send it back and I'm just gonna get the same bag. And I was thinking if I get the same bag back, Will I feel comfortable using the bag, continue using the bag? Now, the bag looks fine in pictures, but in real life, it doesn't. It really looks like it's falling apart. So, and I really like the bag. I'm not gonna sell the bag because anybody who buys this bag from me, they will have a problem with the bag. So I'm not gonna sell it. I'm not gonna get my money back. And I like the bag and I like Birkin 30. So I think since I didn't spend like a crazy amount of money uh, on the bag, even after spending $24,611 uh, Hong Kong dollars, it's still gonna be acceptable. Like, I'm sure they're gonna do a great job. They are going to only keep the front, the bottom, and the back, this part, and the side straps. And they're going to replace the handles and all the hardware. So I think, it's expensive, but it's worth it because when I get the bag back, I'll be able to use it for many, many more years. And the representative also told me that it's not common that they offer replacement for a discontinued leather because it is very, very hard to source. You can imagine a discontinued leather. How can you source a discontinued leather? But because it's blue marine, it's such a popular color, they were able to find the matching leather. So I'll insert a picture of them showing me the leather that they found for the replacement. It looks slightly different, but he said that after cleaning the rest of the bag, so they actually put a piece of leather that they sourced for Blue Marine Crucial and then they, they put it like here on the side strap so you can see um, from the picture. You can see that the shade of blue is slightly different, like the new Crucial leather, the, the small piece of Crucial leather in Blue Marine is brighter than the blue on my bag, but they were saying that after cleaning the bag, it's going to look very similar. And I thought, if even if it looks slightly different, then it will just look like a special order because the handles are different and the <laughs> cassette is different. So this is how I'm gonna try to be positive about this whole thing. I feel good about this. I really trust them with my bag. I believe that they're gonna do a great job. So. I asked them to go ahead with the cleaning service. It's going to take at least six months. And when I get the bag back, I will show you the bag and I will talk a little bit more about this. Uh, this part is getting really long, 20 minutes. I'm definitely gonna edit it, but still it's gonna be at least 10 minutes. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna be doing a more detailed video when I get the bag back because I think it's better if you see the actual bag and I'll like do the before and after because I already have the wear and tear video. So when I get the bag back from the cleaning service, then I'll be able to show you the comparison very easily.
Thank you so much for watching. The next time you see me, I'll be enjoying my time in Vancouver.